Welcome to day eight of Skin Peel. Um, my arms are trying to get normal. Um, yeah. Obviously, as you can tell, I'm not going anywhere while I look like this. Um, and when I do have to be out around people, I'm wearing long sleeves and long pants. But yeah, I'm looking kind of crazy. Um, I have my straps pulled down because I'm starting to peel a lot on my back and it's uncomfortable. Legs are really, really coming along. The knees are starting. Everything looks crazy. I'll be glad when I'm done. <laughs> so from this point, I probably have um, nine more days or so. So we're getting there. So last night I was looking into some um, more health or I guess skincare uh, type teas and things like that. And um, I started researching hibiscus and um, it was funny because someone um, basically commented that they're starting on hibiscus and they're actually doing a mixture of hibiscus and chamomile and um, I think something else I can't remember but um, it was just funny because I was also looking into hibiscus and I have some hibiscus here from um, I had bought bulk hibiscus so I could do more yoni steams because like that's the easiest or most cost-effective way is just like to blend your own stuff for the yoni seams so yeah I bought it months ago and I still have a ton like there's no way I can get through it so I'm gonna start making some loose leaf hibiscus tea I am going to obviously be drinking it but with hibiscus tea you have to be careful I would not drink more than one to two cups a day and I'll make a separate video on uh, some of the dangers surrounding hibiscus tea um, especially if you have like low blood pressure or something like that but we'll get into that in another video but um yeah one to two cups a day if you're going to drink it daily also i'm going to be using it topically because it has a lot of benefits so you could actually get it topically or you could just drink it internally i'm going to be doing both and um one of the things i didn't know is that hibiscus tea is actually made of ahas and AHAs work to basically thin out the top layer of your skin and that's what helps you shed dead skin cells and dead skin and that's where you get healthier brighter looking skin underneath so while I was researching hibiscus I saw that everywhere was like recommending you wear SPF to protect your skin because um, you know your, your skin will be more prone to getting sunburnt um, burning and um, yeah it would just be like really uncomfortable if you're not protecting it from like UV rays and things while also using um, hibiscus because hibiscus does like topically does act as a mild exfoliant not in the way you think it's a it's a chemical exfoliant so there are some exfoliants where you have to actually like sea salt or brown sugar um or like whatever where you know you actually have to be like abrasive with your skin or like a korean italy cloth this is more of a chemical exfoliation and um the chamomile tea does the same thing it is a mild exfoliant but it uh, it does it chemically and um, it helps to turn over the cells so your skin looks brighter but um i'm assuming that hibiscus is stronger than chamomile because um first off there's more like research done into hibiscus for skincare than chamomile and also there's just more warnings around using spf if you're going to be using it in that way because um you know it is going to help you get to like another layer of your skin and so the tell the cell turnover is like way heightened um not that chamomile doesn't do a good job it definitely does but um i'm assuming that this hibiscus is going to bump it up a notch basically also um the ahas that are in hibiscus tea are malic acid and citric acid for a second i thought citric acid and vitamin c were the same things they are definitely related so but they're not exactly the same um like their composition is slightly different and also i found that citric acid is stronger than ascorbic acid so our vitamin c ascorbic acid citric acid is actually stronger so Again, with the if you're going to be using this as a topical, I would definitely be using some type of um, protective layer, um, either like a SPF or all, obviously just like covering it with clothing, so you're not, um, you know, getting uncomfortable or burning or something like that, because your skin might feel a little more sensitive. Also, um, hibiscus boosts collagen production, which we love. That everyone should love this. If you hear anything with skincare and collagen like they go hand in hand they're so important um and i like this too because basically it's the vitamin c that's in the hibiscus that helps with this 
Um, and again, you can get all of these like wonderful, uh, I guess, side effects or benefits of the hibiscus. You can get it from either drinking it internally or using it externally. So using it topically, obviously you can be doing both. Um, also hibiscus is high in something called mice ricetin. So the mice ricetin basically slows down the breakdown of collagen. Obviously, this is something you're gonna notice if you're getting older and you start noticing your face is changing and maybe there's some lines where there has never been before. Um, you know, the more we age, our skin basically goes through, you know, it's called, a, I don't wanna say it's collagen synthesis, it's, it's another, there's a specific word, but um, it just breaks down our collagen. And so over time, we lose more and more and more and more. And so that's why it's so important to supplement collagen, to add more onto our diets, um, but to also slow down the, the natural breakdown of the collagen that's happening the more we age. And this is something that just happens over time. Obviously, there's things that can speed it up. Um, people who live pretty rough lifestyles, so uh, not getting enough sleep, um, partying, drinking, drugs like that. You can usually tell it in their face, you know, the people who had a rough life. Um, but hibiscus is basically high in mice ricetin, and that's what basically, um, it doesn't completely stop the breakdown of collagen. Nothing completely stopped the breakdown, but it greatly slows it down. And there's lots of studies on this. So it's not just a, take this to stay youthful and young. Like the, it actually does slow down the breakdown. So that is another plus. So you'll be having firmer skin longer. Um, and like I said, not everyone obviously is going to notice that because not everyone is in that stage of their life where their face is like changing and they can notice it. I think for most of us, it, it's changing over time, but we can't necessarily put like our finger on what's changing. But this is just something that just know that if you do keep up with this routine, you know, for long term, it can actually really pay off. Um, another thing is that uh, the drinking the hibiscus tea hydrates the skin. Um, I saw a lot of warnings about over drinking hibiscus tea. So it's like, yes, a lot of people will drink hibiscus because like they'd rather drink hibiscus than like drink like a lot of water. But you have to be careful because like if you suffer from like low blood pressure, this could like have that go down even more. Um, and uh, there, there's another there's another warning. I can't remember it right now, but um, not everyone's going to be able to drink as much hibiscus. So I think just to play it safe, I would not go over two cups a day. And um, yeah, well, again, like I said, we'll go into that deep dive in another video. Um, and basically what happens, like why everyone's like, hydrate your skin, hydrate your skin, drink lots of water, make sure you're hydrated, it helps your skin. They say that because when your skin is hydrated, basically just it ups the blood flow. And so when we have increased blood flow in our skin, it brings more nutrients into our skin. So um, when our skin is, um, you know, basically drying out or getting dehydrated, it gets really tight, it gets, um, it's less resilient, so it won't snap back as often as it used to. And um, it's not getting enough nutrients, like even the blood flow that's going to the skin like slows down. So water is really, really important for not only the circulation, but getting the nutrients that you are eating or you're supplementing to your skin and also helping you have um, resilient, firm, and um, you know, pliable elastic skin you know not something that's gonna um you know sagging obviously this is a normal process of just us living and breathing but there are definitely ways to like slow those things down so that's why everyone freaks out about are you hydrated are you hydrated your skin will be so thankful you're hydrated um that's basically what's going on the hibiscus that i bought is like i said loose leaf so if you're going to be making it you can either Put it in a bowl and um, what I'll be doing is just uh, like you don't have to have one of like the loose leaf tea bags. Obviously I have one and I'll be using it for what I'm drinking the hibiscus tea but when I'm making like the hibiscus tea to add to my little spray bottle to use on my skin um, usually I just like take a handful of the dried hibiscus and I put it in a bowl and then I just um, boil some water pour the boiled water over it and just let it steep and get really 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 strong and then I use it. <laughs> so that's a uh, basically that I mean if you're making the tea like I said using um, a loose leaf tea strainer you can get those like anywhere that would be the easiest way but the one that I bought on Amazon um, it's like $30 or so 30 or $35 and it's lasted me so far I think like four or five months and um, before I was using it for Yoni steams and now I'm gonna start drinking it but it's just it gives you so many like tea leaves like it's it's actually like the dry flower so it's like not the powdered kind, but um, it just gives you so much.